You guys, I am so hot right now. I am so mad. Yeah. What's up, beautiful people? We're here to talk about how much DJ Khaled's words are a problem. But then I just want to give you a backstory of why this really made me mad and why I had to speak up and say something. Now, Shannon and I, we were sitting there talking about how we feel like oral sex is a must, especially when you're in a committed relationship or you're only having sex with one person. Oral sex is a must. When you get to the point where you're committed to someone, you also should be committed to pleasing them. If that person enjoys it, it should be happening. That's just how we feel, right? It can be different for people because maybe they don't like that, but then that is a conversation. But I feel like when you're with someone, their pleasure matters as much as yours. You should make them a priority as much as you want them to make you a priority. It should be equal now before i get into any of this and like go off about how disrespectful how misogynistic how disgusting hypocritical and how dangerous his words are let me just go ahead and play the audio for you guys praising is called <laughs> how was dinner um you like the house you're living in you like all the clothes you're getting I'm taking care of your family. I'm taking care of my family. You know, putting in the work. So you say like, you don't go down? Nah, yeah. never. All of that to say you don't go down? Come Kevin, on. you eat the box? Come nah. on, Kevin. Oh, you don't eat no nah. food. Nah. Nah. I thought Kevin, that's what nah. I hold you down was about. Nah, well, I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't. Not even like for her birthday? Nah, listen. Christmas? She get, she get, she get, geez, geez, Kevin. I'm putting that work. My, my work is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do my but, thing. So now if she told you she don't do that. I'm not. Nah, it's not okay. Because, <laughs> because, you know what I'm saying? I'm then confused. It, so. Because, you got to understand, I'm the dawn. I'm the king. You know what I'm saying? And she's Everybody's the queen. Everybody's the king of the house. Huh? She's the queen. Of course. It's different rules for men. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to understand, like, you know, we, we, um, we, we, you know, we the king. You know what I'm saying? So, we you know, there's some things that. Y'all might not want to do or want to do. It got to get done. The first and foremost why I'm really angry is how hypocritical he was. But he doesn't even realize how disrespectful he was being to not only his woman, which was number one, but to women in general. The way that he commented is like, nah, I don't do that. Hell nah. Like to please a woman is disgusting. Like a woman's vagina is good enough to get up in there but not good enough to go down there and please. He is saying, I am the king, I am the dawn, and only my needs and wants are priority here. You are a tool to please me. And that right there is so disgusting and dangerous, it's different for men. Are you kidding me? His words and everything that he said is just so misogynistic. Like, oh, nah, do you like this house we're living in? Everyone needs to say no to this type of behavior. This is not okay. You matter, You, your needs and wants, it doesn't matter what role you have in the relationship, your needs, your wants, your desire, your pleasure matters. And that is not okay. Sitting there saying, it's different rules for men. It's dangerous rhetoric to, to spread in this world, especially as a man that has so many followers and is so well known. You spread motivation and inspiration and all these things to people. Sit there and put down your own woman as well as other women and then make it so that other men or whoever feel like that it's okay for them to think this way. Because you're sitting here saying, it's different for men. That's the same shit that right, racist people say. It's different for white people. It's just not okay to start a sentence that way at all especially at this point in time in our society he's just perpetuating misogyny with these words that he's using and then he keeps going on and on and on one of the reasons why i am so pissed off is that she is his manager she makes him money she's not just sitting home and doing nothing she's bringing home money too bruh he doesn't realize how disrespectful he was to his woman because when you say nah Hell nah. You opened it up for everybody on the internet and on the radio and online to be able to attack her. I saw comments like, yeah, because she looks like she stinks. Yeah, because she's ugly anyway, bruh. And it's just so so disgusting that he allowed himself to say anything or put, put it out there in a way to allow anyone to attack her. And say no to being in a relationship with anyone that allows you to feel that way. Nah, hell nah. I'm not touching that beautiful ass great vagina that I should be lucky and blessed to be in the presence of that's crazy because that's what they should be saying I can't even like sit there and have the mindset of someone that wouldn't want to do what's necessary to please a person that they're 
you know, spending a lot of time with, in a relationship with, or their sexual partner. That's crazy. You are beautiful. You are important. And so is everything else that you need in this world. All of that is important. And you should be with someone that knows that and feels that and wants that for you too. Anyways, you guys, I don't want to rant anymore, but I just had to put that out there because I cannot tell you how many times I have met women that have told me that they've never orgasmed or their orgasm in their relationship, and it's mostly straight or heterosexual couples, that their orgasm is not a priority in the bedroom. That's so crazy. You have the power to say yes. You have the power to say hell no. You have so much power. You have no idea. So because of that, you should never accept anything less than what you want or what pleases you also. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Eat the box. That's the end of the story. Eat the box.